Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the holiday event update going on in Stasis. Just a heads up, this video is only going to cover what you need to know immediately. I'll go further in detail in individual videos for the most important stuff. So in case you do want further information on a specific topic, it'll be in its own separate video. So just note, this is an introduction to give you what you need immediately. All right, we're going to be splitting up this video in two sections. The first section is going to go over all of the new stuff in the game. And then the second part is going to go over the holiday stuff exclusively. All right, starting off over in the main town, when you start the game, all of the shops have been relocated along with the arena. There's a new layout for the map. And it looks a little bit something like this. This image was provided over in the Stasis Discord server. So all of these red markings are from the Stasis team. And right now the weapon shop is no longer around. That's most likely going to be introduced a little bit later down the road once again. But other than that, it looks like everything has a new position. And it's a little bit more straightforward, quite literally. Because once you spawn in, you just go forward and you'll see the big door that takes you to your adventure. Alongside that, the shops are very, very close. While on the topic of shopping, we have a new feature that has been added. Emotes. You can purchase these for a few Robux, and all of them so far are pretty silly. Lastly, on the topic of merchandise, we have two new game passes added to the game. The first one is Vanity Equips. You can equip actual items such as backpacks, shields, and other items that you weren't able to use as Vanity as Vanity items now. The other game pass is a Vanity Storage. If you purchase this game pass, you will have a full section for Vanity items inside your storage. So this is actually pretty great. And this is a great spot to talk about the storage. Our storage did get increased. However, you have to unlock the new slots that were recently added. These slots are different. You don't pay with coins, you pay with resources. Some of the different storage slots are going to require a large amount of resources, such as a full stack of sticks or stones, while other slots may require some very special items. These can range from items such as quartz over to weapons such as the icicle. Either way, in the long run, we have a huge area of storage that we can unlock and use to our benefit now. And lastly, while we're talking about items and resources, these have all been changed. This topic will be discussed a little bit further in a separate video, but the gist of it is every single item has their own individual price now. You can still rely on rarity color to determine the amount of value, but it's definitely going to vary quite heavily. Some of the copper rarity items, for example, that I've tested have been in the range of between one coin up to four coins in value. So this does mean if you're farming some coins, the old video previously is a little bit outdated. However, some of the information is still pretty good. And that is everything for the base game. Now we'll be talking about the event. The holiday event adds in a large amount of variety enemies. These enemies are going to be boosted in health and drop special items. The main item you're going to want to look out for is holiday medallions. Holiday medallions can be exchanged over at a new location called the Manor. This location will have all of the holiday exclusive items and there's a rotational shop for directly exchanging for specific items. However, this location does have a few additional features such as gift boxes. These pretty much work like loot boxes. You open one up after exchanging it and you get a random item. The items inside of the gift boxes are going to vary quite heavily. I myself got some dye, while other players have gotten food items and weapons. Make sure to talk to the little dude right here. He will give you a free medallion so you know what to look for. They shine green and have a golden color on them. Now to actually obtain these items, as mentioned, there are new enemy variants. So if you find a little enemy that looks a little bit strange, it might be a holiday variant. Kill it and you'll get some medallions. However, some of the more rare enemies will drop some really great items. Special items such as runes, weapons, or even some equipables. Not every enemy has a variant. Additionally, you can see these variants inside of the dungeons. However, I do have to say be careful because some of these rare ones such as the star fragments do have a variant and they only have specific spawn locations. 
Dimensions, the meteor site in this example. On the topic of being careful, I mentioned this, but these enemy variants are stronger. So make sure you have a full health bar before tackling some of the harder ones. Here's a small clip of the star fragment when I first encountered it, and there are so many players here trying to tackle one enemy. Lastly, the sand area does indeed have some special enemies. So make sure you're hunting everywhere if you want some special drops as some of them are really awesome like this rune. That is everything you need to know about the stasis holiday update. As mentioned, I'll go further into detail on a few of these topics in other videos, so stay tuned for those when they release. And I hope this video has helped give you a little look into the update. I will see ya.